Testing is a pretty complicated thing, but at the same time, it's pretty simple. We don't have any specifications to meet. There's not a lot of oversight, but we're out there trying to catch an ounce of sand for every 100 or 200 yards that we're running. So it is pretty tough, and so everything has to be pretty specific, and, and you don't want to make too many mistakes, obviously, like anything else. We have a fair-sized operation. There was about 12 to 14 of us this season. We moved well over a million yards, and so it's a, it's a pretty fair-sized operation. Our whole site has very little experience. We approach the season with you know, an average age of about 25 or 26, I think. So we're pretty young and inexperienced. The advantage to that is that we're all willing to try new things and we don't have a real preconceived notion of, of how things have to happen because we don't know how things are supposed to happen. I get taught a lot of life lessons doing what, I, what I've been doing for the last few years. Some of them have to hit me over the head, but I've had the pleasure of working with some very good people that have taught me a lot about how to manage people and how to run an operation, and it's been quite the experience. You know, my grandpa really did a lot to train me in taking over an operation and dealing with people and managing people. He doesn't so much anymore. His health is starting to go down a little bit, and he's not doing as well as he used to, but he definitely was very pivotal in my life and especially my business life as far as just giving me advice and leadership skills, which still need improving. But he was very, very pivotal in, in that sense, yeah. One of the big things that I struggle with, and it's something that I try to keep in mind a lot, is just being consistent. You know, dealing with issues consistently and fairly, whether it's with crew or film crew or whatever it is, just dealing with things with a level head and being consistent with it is a lot easier said than done, at least for me it is. I've got a foreman, Rick Ness, he, he did a great job this season, couldn't have been happier. He handles most of the day-to-day. -day. I do a lot more logistical work, getting fuel and parts and then always looking at the long-term plan. I do a lot of looking at other pieces of ground. This season, I actually spent a lot of time going and looking at other people's operations. Probably three days a week, I would be on the road looking at other people's operation and looking at different technology. And, and, you know, like the first half of the season was looking at other people that had a setup similar to what I envisioned we were going to use, you know, how we were going to execute this whole new plan.